city council members working overtime tonight, hearing from an uproar of opposition to the proposed Atlanta Public Safety Training Center. Now, this plan has been the source of controversy for years. You can see a timeline of some of the issues right here. Critics even calling it Cop City. The idea was originally proposed all the way back in 2015, but eight years, dozens of protests, even a deadly shooting later, not a single nail has been driven. Now, tonight, Atlanta City Council members are discussing the plan to partly pay for that facility with taxpayer dollars, and hundreds of people have shown up today to voice their opinion opinion on this idea. Atlanta News First has been on the story since the very beginning and Atlanta News First anchor Tori Cooper is live inside City Hall. So Tori, this has been a long, long day for council members and pretty much everybody inside that building. It certainly has, Alan, and right now City Council is finally working on introducing that resolution that will outline how much taxpayers will have to spend to fund the new public safety training facility. Here's how it's going so far inside. Tonight was supposed to be the first leg of this approval process, but this unexpected turnout for public comment is slowing they're, that they're process down. I love seeing yeah. people being involved, and, but again, our obligation is is all is to listen to the public uh, but it's also to be to provide the resources that the city needs for our employees council member julian bond is one of the council members in the chamber tonight listening i believe it's vital that our police officers receive proper training he's in favor of the project but he says council can't introduce the funding resolution until all 288 people who signed up for public comment get two minutes to share their voice. I'm here to reject the Cop City funding and to oppose the building of Cop City as a whole. Right before 6.30, several city council members got up from their seats, some asking for a recess break after this happened. Police filed in and eventually public comment resumed. So city council, I urge you not to approve the funding towards this project. Now, it does look like public comment is starting to wrap up, but ultimately this will have to go before full council for a vote. And the city says that Mayor Andre Dickens is out of the country right now and unavailable for comment. We will be following and bringing you the very latest at 11 right here on Atlanta News First. Reporting live in downtown Atlanta from City Hall tonight, I'm Tori Cooper, Atlanta News First. Now, the mayor put together a task force aimed at shoring up support for the public safety training facility. Last month during their first meeting, Mayor Andre Dickens said the training site project will be going forward. The task force meets again in August. That meeting is going to be open to the public. Now, to find out what happens in that meeting and stay updated as this story continues to develop between now and then, just download the free Atlanta News First app.